guys, Bladeblur is here, and guess what? The release of Pokemon X and Y is coming up pretty soon, and I don't know if you guys know it, but I love Pokemon. If there is a franchise that I can talk about as much as Sonic, it's Pokemon. And I know there's so many people on YouTube that do it too, but you know what? I'm gonna throw my two cents about the franchise as well. Now, funnily enough, one of my most watched videos to this very day is my reaction video to me finding a shiny Beldum. Let's watch. Well, I was trying to do the Ma Masuda method in Pokemon Black 2, and finally, after 278 eggs, I got this wonderful thing. My freaking god, it's a shiny Beldum, or Beldu. And look at it now, it's a beautiful silver Metagross with a golden X. Ah, uh, and I raised it legitimately. Of course, ever since I got other shiny Pokemon, and I was really happy that recently GameStop started carrying the Gen 4 legendaries that are shiny, like Palkia and Dialga. So, I really like shiny Pokemon. The prospect about finding those extremely rare colored versions of Pokemon that we know and love all of a sudden out of nowhere without any warning is such a cool concept. And I really thought to myself, what are some of my favorite shiny Pokemon? And then I saw Dookie Shed making the same video and I was thinking to myself, I don't really want to repeat the same idea of a video too soon. So I decided to do the opposite approach. There's something really annoying that when you find a shiny, that it's not special. Think about it. You find a shiny in about 1 to 8,000. And if the shiny you find is not a good shiny or a cool shiny, it can be really disappointing. So, for X and Y, I'm gonna make my top 10 worst shiny Pokemon you can find. <sighs> Here we go. At number 10 we get Rapidash, and frankly, I don't want to put it on the list because I like the idea of the flames becoming blue, you know, cold flame, which makes it look more of a ghost type. But the blue color here is so wane that it kind of loses its appeal to me. I like Ponyta's blue shade because it's far stronger, it makes it look more regal, but with Rapidash it's washed out and I just don't like it as much. At number 9, Gyarados. This is by far my most controversial placement on the list because it's the most iconic shiny of all time. Truth of the matter is that I have no problem with how shiny Gyarados looks like whatsoever. The thing is that it's not special anymore. Yeah, we all got excited when we ran into it the first time in the Lake of Rage in Generation 2 and the remakes in Generation 4, but by now everyone's seen it, everyone has one. Not only that, but imagine for a moment you're running into a shiny wild Gyarados. Yeah. The chance in 1 in 8,000 is used for the Pokemon that's easiest to catch shiny. I have nothing against it whatsoever and I think the red color is really cool, but I hope my reasoning explains the reason why it's on the list. Though, it is pretty low because it does look pretty cool. Sometimes I just don't like the shade of a color. A great example of that is the dark green color that a lot of shiny Pokemon have. Sometimes it can work really well, like with Mach. But on the other hand, eh, Dragonite. Now, for the record, I'm not a big Dragonite fan because when it comes to looking like a dragon, I'm thinking more on the lines of Salamence or Garchomp. But I still like it. I think the orange color makes it look really cool, but the shiny version? Uh, it just looks like a flying mucus, dear lord. How is it that Dratini and Dragonite go from purple to bleh? Sorry, I just don't like it. Although Excadrill is one of my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon, I am not a huge fan of its shiny form because I just don't like the color scheme. And is it just me or its whiskers are blue? Yeah, it was really off-putting and I really didn't like the color clashing here, but I have to admit at least the major color here is their dark red one. Can you imagine what would happen if the opposite happened? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna build it up to a future entry. I have to admit, I really liked Arbok. Until Seviper showed around and it pretty much beat it in every conceivable way, but I do think its design is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of its shiny form, what a surprise. I don't mind that the body is in a different color, I actually like that shade of yellow, it's the markings that really bother me. I don't know, it just doesn't work really well with the design. And what really bothers me too is his mouth. I don't like the fact that his mouth is blue. It looks like he just took a blue popsicle and just shoved it in his mouth and just... And, you know, it stayed blue forever. 
And this only adds to the reason why Arbok is never gonna be a respected Pokémon. <laughs> Making a legendary Pokémon shiny is a recipe for success. Check out Rayquaza and Kyogre, for example. But do you notice something missing, you know, from the Gen 3 crowd? Yeah, where's Groudon? Well, here. This is perhaps the least appropriate call you can give it. I, I can't explain it, but something makes it look completely ordinary. It's not unique at all, like a fusion of black or gold, or highly stylized color of purple. It's just... snot green. Why not orange to emphasize the ability to summon the sun? No? Black, maybe? No? Just snot green. Thank god it's the only Pokemon that has that color. Uh, unless... Oh dear god, no! <laughs> Of all the shiny Pokemon you could butcher, Game Freak, you have to ruin my favorite Pokemon! No, 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 no! Who on earth thought it was a good idea to make Caesar snot green? He's one of my favorite Pokemon, and he's snot green! He should not be snot green! You know what I really liked about Caesar? The fact that he's really cool, sleek red collar. And I really like all the details on his claws and make him look very fierce. But making him snot green takes that all away! Maybe they try to do something clever by making him green because Scyther used to be green, but it doesn't work with Caesar. He just looks completely lame. You know what the opposite of Shiny Excadrill is? Shiny Starmie. Originally, it had a very cool design with the purple body that it had, and the ruby in the middle, which really gave it a unique look, which is all taken away with its shiny form. The way the colors are combined here is just ugly. Imagine if you see a girl and she puts way too much makeup on her face. That's exactly what I think about Starmie. It's not majestic anymore, it's just gaudy and, like, a peacock exploded. What I like about shiny Pokémon like Melodic or even Flygon is that the colors make them look regal and unique. Starmie is anything but, and I don't like it. End of story. I dedicate this entry for the shinies that came of the worst possible situation. You know what's awful? Finding a shiny Pokémon in the Safari Zone, and then knowing you only have about 10% of catching it before it flees. That's awful. But let's take it up a notch. Imagine you're starting up your journey, but you don't have a single Pokeball, and you run into a shiny! That's awful! Having shinies that use self-destruct or explosion! That's awful! But what's the worst one? Having the professor show you the first Pokemon you ever see, and it's a shiny and you can't get it! Guess what? That's awful! This is dedicated to all the people, all the brave souls that had to go through all those problems. I salute you. Whether you're from Kanto, or from Johto, or from Hoenn, or from Sinnoh, you know about Kalos. It doesn't matter. You guys are brave that you had to endure all that stuff. And I salute you. But believe it or not, I have one more entry that's worse than that. All the shinies I stated above, even Starmie, can be liked by at least one person since taste is very subjective. But for the number one spot, I chose something that I humbly believe the majority of you can agree on. You see this following Pokemon? Yeah, looks pretty cool, huh? Well, guess what? That's a shiny Pokemon! Yeah, put it next to the original? You can't even tell the difference. Making a Pokemon lighter or darker can be cool if done correctly, like with Landorus, for example, I really like the brighter color on the shiny form, but in the majority of it, all it does is show laziness and no caring whatsoever. Now, to emphasize why this is such a terrible design choice, I'm gonna give you guys an example. Let's say I'm putting a group of Charizards, and one of them is shiny. You can easily distinguish which one the shiny is. But let's say I put, I don't know, a Garchomp group, try to figure out where the shiny is in that group. Can you? I can't! Finding a shiny Pokemon is a rare event that every trainer should partake in. But if a Pokemon you find just looks almost exactly the same and you get some cool sparkles, then what's the point? 
Well, that's my list. Really sorry those shinies are not exactly my cup of tea, but the majority of shinies are pretty cool. Now, if you have any other ideas for top 10s list about Pokemon, I would really love to hear because I really like the franchise and I would like to share my opinions with you guys. But as for um, the fact that X and Y coming up pretty soon, I decided to review a Pokemon game next. So next time, it's the review of Pokemon Coliseum. And yes, I know this is the bonus disc. I do own a legit copy of Pokemon Coliseum. That's a thing. It looks pretty nice and you get a Jirachi with it. Yeah. See you next time, guys. And blah.